Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a tutorial on the Banished Marauder, which was seen in Halo Wars 2, and it's sort of like their medium uh, anti-infantry vehicle. It is bigger than the Wraith, interesting thing. Uh, it's a very, very long, large vehicle. You can see it even in the 2 to 1 scale lineup over there. Still bigger than the Wraith. Uh, we will do the 2 to 1 model at some point as well. It's, uh, it's going to be a big one though, as you can see, it's just pretty massive. Um, I'll talk more about the build itself as we go through the vehicle, well, through the build. Um, because there are some things about it that I didn't even realise to begin with. Uh, it does have the driver's seat just there in that little hole, and the gunner's seat is back here. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say about it really. Lots of little spikes sticking out, you know, these things on the front are meant to be spikes. There's like these bits here, which are the spiky front of the engines. Uh, and then like these arm plates sticking out at the back. Yeah, just a load of detail, and it's a pretty nice addition if you're making a banished army. Um, just as a note, there are a fair amount of skeleton skulls and wither skeleton skulls on this build to add to the shaping. Uh, you could potentially get away with not using them, but it isn't going to look as as well as what it does here. I won't say as good, but it won't look as as what it does here. So that's up to you. Anyway, we're going to crack on with the build. Nice short intro for once uh, onto layer number one. So for lane number one, you're going to need a fair selection of materials. These aren't even all of them, but we'll grab the remaining ones when we need them. Um, we need the polished andesite stairs, deep slate tile stairs, and slab, smooth stone slab, iron trap door, dark oak trap door, with a skeleton school, skeleton school, and dark oak fin skate. Those are going to be our main ones. Um, so yeah, we'll just start off anywhere. The green line is going to be the front of the build, and this solid green line is the center of the width of the build. So anything that's on the left is also going to be on the right. The red line, same rules apply, but that is the back of the build. The arrows also face towards the front of the build, so as I'm building, you can reference those to see which way we're supposed to be working. I'm going to start off with the deep slate tile slabs, I think, actually. We're going to start with those. Right here in the middle, you want to do a top half one, just like that. So obviously, if you're building on just a ground lay, it could be grass or anything, just do this anywhere, as long as you set enough room aside. I think it's about 14 meters long, and this is about halfway, so maybe add about 7 or 8 blocks to the back, 7 or 8 to the front, just to be safe. Uh, then you've got obviously plenty of space to do it. Now one to the left and one to the right. And we're going to triple that. Well, not triple it, we're going to double it first. We've got six in total. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, just like that. We're building towards the back here, just bear that in mind. On the front, we're going to do the same. However, we're going to not do the middle ones. We're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. Just like that. Take the dark oak trap doors, that's one and two, one and two. Smooth stone slab now, one and two. Remember all of these are uh, top half, so nothing should be touching the ground right now. Skeleton school just here on the back, next to the slab. We're gonna get this out of the way now, just so it's done. With a skeleton school, we want this. We're gonna come to this uh, second slab along. We're going to go to the ground layer here. This might be a bit difficult to see just because of the color of my tutorial pad. But you want it facing 90 degrees and inwards. So it should just look like that. And remember that's on the second slab, not the first one. Again, just there. Like that. Take the deep state tile stairs now. These do touch the ground. There's one and one facing that way. And again, just like that. Polished underside stairs now. One and one there. One that way. One that way. Another deep slate tile slab. This time it's on the bottom half. And then we're going to take the iron trap door now. We're going to put one here and then one here. Delete that. And just again like that. Get the dark oak fence gate. This uh, stair that's facing towards the back. One, two, three. Four, flip them all, and again, just like so. Put away the both sets of schools now, and the fence gates. I'm going to grab uh, the mangrove sign, I'm going to grab the chain, and we're also going to grab the lever. Mangrove sign you're going to put next to the iron trap door so it should just kind of float on its own. And again like that. Put that away. 
chain there, chain there, and then lever one and two. So one of the things I didn't realize about this build until I did the two to one model and the one to one model as well, was that the kind of engine sections that will go on top of here, I always thought that the engines were kind of pressed up against the ground and it used the engine sort of as, as almost like paddles to move. Whereas it actually has this like full undercarriage section that you can't really see in game. Um, so the engines will go on top of this bit. Obviously not yet. Uh, I just thought that was interesting. Because I think in the previous model in the non-scale series that I did, I just made it so the engines touched the ground. There was nothing under there. And obviously that was very wrong. We're going to take a temporary block. Um, and I'm going to put it just there. So just above that first gap between the slabs, because there is a lever on the underside of it, but I don't know what block comes on top of this. Um, so we're going to do that on the next layer, and then the temporary block just reminds us it goes there. So yeah, let's move on to layer number two. Okay, starting off layer number two, we're going to need these materials. Grey concrete, cyan terracotta, polished andesite stairs again, the deep slate tile stairs again, and the slab. We need the polished deep slate slab as a new material. Uh, and smooth stone slab, iron trap door. Uh, actually, we don't need the smooth stone slab this one. My mistake. So just iron trap door, lever. We do need a couple of other things. Uh, actually, a hopper. We're going to grab that. Um, there's some other things as well, but we'll grab them as we need them. Start with an upside down stair just here. So just above that backmost slab uh, above the skull. Grey concrete behind it now, down the center line. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Cyan terracotta here. And then we've deleted that temporary block now. So what I'm going to do is put the deep slate tile stairs facing that way. I'm just going to quickly delete that, put a lever here, and then flip it. And then put that back. So there you go. Another stairs here. Another stairs facing that way as well. We're going to take the hoppers now and I think this one is connecting to there. That one connects to the wall. So just like that. And then this last thing here is a lever, but we're going to do it on the next block up. So on the, on the next layer. So we're going to leave that. Deep slate tile stairs facing inwards and there as well. Slab there. Slab there. You can need that... Um, Dark oak fence gate back. I'm gonna put that just there and there, and then flip both of them. In fact, we'll keep that because we need it again. Take the grey concrete just above these two polished andesite stairs, two grey concrete, and two again. And then with that dark oak fence gate, one there, flip it, one there, flip it. Now we can actually get rid of that for this layer. Bring the dark oak, uh, dark oak trap door back. Polished deep slate slab, bottom half one there, and there as well. With the dark oak trap door, that's going to be one, flip it, one, flip it. We need the wither skeleton skull, one, one there, one, one there. And then just another dark oak trap door there and flip it, then and flip it. So it should look like this. Okay. Um, right, next things. Oops, polished andesite stairs upside down just here. There as well. Gonna add stone brick wall to the materials. That goes there and there. Gonna add mangrove fence gate to the materials. That goes here and then flip it. Here and then flip it. Another polished stair there. Another one here. Iron trap door on top of the one we did before. Add in another new material. And in fact, we'll do the mangrove sign first. That goes next to the iron trap door there and there. And then new material, the crimson trap door. One there, flip it. One there, flip it. And another one there, flip that one. And there as well. So those two should be facing the stair here. Those two should be facing the engine stairs. 
And again, that's going to be it for layer number two. Obviously, uh, in fact, we'll take that temporary block and just put one there and one here so that we know that there's a, uh, a lever just underneath. So yeah, let's move on to layer number three. All right, for layer number three, we're going to take new material mangrove slab, put this on top of the cyan terracotta. New material again, stone block, just there. Polished andesite stairs facing it towards the back, and again. New material, I'm going to put some of these away actually. Um, change my mind about that, there we go. Uh, mangrove stairs, and while we're here, we're also going to grab the... Uh, what else? What else do we need? Mm, polished andesite slab, I think we need that. There we go. And then just keep your crimson trapdoor around as well. Um, and also leave it. Okay. Mangrove stairs, one there, one that way as well. Um, stone block again just here. And then this is a corner stair. Remembering we're deleting those temporary blocks. So just as a reminder to put a lever here and there as well. And then another polished stair there. Get the hopper just on top of the upside down stair. Dark oak fence gate on there. Flip it. These represent the uh, the feet holders for the uh, for the gunner. Temporary block once more. Just uh, another one, just there above that gap, because there is again another another lever. Over to here. Taking that lever again. One here, one there. Polished slab, polished slab, and then the crimson trap door. Just have it facing towards the front like that. Okay. Last thing for this layer is just a skeleton skull. You want to have it facing this way, but you kind of want to do it at that angle. So it's not quite uh, 45 degrees. It's like a 30, maybe 30 degrees, 25 degrees, something like that. It just kind of um, slopes that back towards these bits here, which is what you want. And that's going to be it for that layer. Let's move on to the final section, which is going to be the full turret and then also just a single block here. Um, oh, and if you want to add a driver's seat, you can just take a rail and put a minecart in there. I don't tend to do it because I move my builds around a lot and the minecarts never go with them, they always fall out, but that basically looks like this, um, so you can you can drive it, which is pretty cool, um, so nice play function there. Right, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, for the last section, we need a fair amount of different materials here, the polished deep slate stairs, smooth stone slab, deep slate tile slab, daylight detector, iron trap door with the skeleton skull, grey carpet, birch fence gate, we need the lever and then a birch sign as well. I'm going to take the polished deep slate stairs first of all and just do these. You want them facing that way, like that, and then put the lever underneath. Get rid of that. Get the sign out. Grey carpet just goes there. We want a polished deep slate stairs upside down here, so I'm just going to mess about there with the, with the blocks. It should look like that. With the skeleton school, one two and then three just to finish that seat off smooth stone slab one two iron trap door birch sign there birch sign just here birch fence gate flip it again flip it and then finally daylight detector and just turn that on and oh now i missed one i forgot a block uh, the <laughs> deep slate tile slab just goes here. There you go. And that's that's it. Right, we'll put the shaders on. Notice again, I didn't use the shaders in the intro. I'm, I'm kind of stopping doing that just to almost not do like false advertising, I guess, for, for when the build starts. I want to have it so that you can see it exactly how it's going to look, even in default. Um, although I think I do have vanilla tweaks enabled, which may make it look slightly different. 
but now nah, that's bright. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nice. Um, definitely think the two to one version benefits a lot from the obviously addition in size and, and more materials. But I think this is you know pretty good Marauder. Um, and yeah, you, you learn a lot when you build these things. Like I said, I never knew that these engines here were resting on kind of skis almost. Um, and you've got all this lovely inside detail here, which is nice. And of course, you have the play function of being able to sit in it, which always helps. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great time. I don't know why I said have a great time. I don't know what you're doing. Have a great day. And have a great time doing whatever you're doing today. Uh, yeah, next one should be a, a Star Wars thing, I think. And I might even record that today if I have time. Uh, but I don't know when it will release. Yeah, thank you. See you later. And goodbye. Hey guys, before the video ends, I just wanted to let you know about my new schematic store. This is a place where you can download builds from the past, from tutorials that are out now, and even preview builds from the future. Link is in the description. Go and have a look, see if there's anything you like. And yeah, see ya.